Let's go to Romans chapter 15, 1 through 3. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. So what is this saying? If you read in the translation of the expanded Bible, we who are strong in faith should help the weak with their weaknesses and not please only ourselves. So what this is saying, we are not in this life or on this world to please ourselves or our families. We have to be concerned about other people and not only the people that we know. Does that make any sense? So you may say, hey, I worked hard my whole life, so if someone doesn't work as hard as I, I should not have to help them because I worked hard. No. We are not in this life for ourselves. We are in this life for other people. And I am not talking about only about money. I know the first thing that people may think about is money. No, because what good is money if you don't have, well, there are other things that are better than money, like your time. Sometimes your time is worth more than money because what good is one million dollars to a person who is always depressed, have mental issues and stuff like that? They can't get any happiness from it. So perhaps your time is a lot better to them than money. Does that make any sense? So money does not... Money is not good for all situations. Makes sense, right? So we are not on this earth for ourselves. We are on this earth for other people. Verse 2. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. Uh, now... You may say, what is edification? And I was going to have another window up and show you the definition. But to really make this easy to understand, edification is to instruct someone in the way of righteousness. You are correcting people to do right by God. Like for instance, let's say that a person is having sex before a marriage and they come to me, hey Kevin, what do I have to do to turn my life to God? And what I can say to that person, hey, what you need to do is stop having sex before a marriage, so on and so on. So I am edifying that person. I believe that is what edification means. Let me look at the translation here. Let each of us please our neighbors for their good to help them be stronger in faith, edify them, build them up. So you are correcting them. You are showing them the right way to go to reach God. So we should be edifying people other than breaking them down and slandering people and stuff like that. We should not just be we should not be pointing our fingers at people and bringing them down. We should not be doing that. Because if you think about it, isn't that what Satan does? Doesn't he point the finger and accuse and slander people? Of course. So if you do that, you are doing the same thing as Satan and demons are. Makes sense, right? Verse 3. For even Christ pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. So let me look at the translation. Verse 3. 
Even Christ did not live to please himself. It was, as the scripture said, when people insult you, it hurts me. So as you can see here, when Jesus Christ lived on earth, he did not live for himself. He lived to serve. He lived to teach. So we have to follow suit. We have to do the same thing as well, even if it is difficult. So we are here to help others, not so much to please ourselves. Now, it is not wrong to do things that you are interested in. That is not wrong. But to get to the point where you are just pleasuring yourself and not thinking about other people, that is wrong. So I pray that makes sense. God bless.